All right, so set the max frames to 100. Uh, we don't need more than that. Delete everything. Create a plane, rotate it 90 on the X. Go to front view. Scale on the X, uh, 2. Loop cut in the middle. Select everything and subdivide. I'm going to do it 20 times. Um, and move that down a little bit. Select the four corners. Create a vertex group, call it pins. Sign it. Select the bottom two pins only. Control H. Hook to new object. Uh, we're going to need that a bit later on. Uh, just right click and shade smooth as well so it looks a bit better. Go to the physics tab, cloth, um, go down to shape, set our pins, and just let the simulation run. And I'm doing this just because I didn't want a flat um, cloth. So Go to the Modifiers tab and apply the cloth. Go back to frame 0. Put another cloth on. 20 quality steps this time. Same pin group. Collisions. Turn to 20. Select our collection. Turn on self collisions. Um, I'm going to be using a torus to pull up the sail. Rotate it 90 on the uh, Y. Major radius is 2.2. Minor is 0 0.1. And I'm going to be scaling it to pull it up. So I need to key its scale. Go to the last frame. About 0 0.25. Key that. And I need this hook which controls these corners to move up as well. So key the location, move it up to about there, key it again, and just make sure that your hook modifier is above the cloth, not the other way around. Um, duplicate the torus, move it to the right by one unit, and to the left by one, and that should be it. Go to the cloth, physics tab, go down to cache, frames 100, and bake. Ah, I need to turn on collisions for the torus. And delete bake again. Let's have a look. So that's our folded up uh, state. Go to the modifiers tab and apply the cloth as a shape key. And uh, we don't need hook anymore. Let's delete all those. Go down to the object data. This shape key controls the up and down. Just going to call it roll up.
and I need to add the next animation, chooses wind. Rotate it on the X. Set the strength to about 500. And add a cloth to our plane again. Same pin group. Um, might do 10 quality steps and let the simulation run. About there. Um, go back to the modifiers tab and apply this as a shape key. Delete the wind and call this one wind so that controls that so we need two bones to control values for these two shape keys um, so just add armature duplicate move it down by two units I'm going to call this one roll up driver this one Wind driver. Go to the roll up, um, right click value, add driver. We need an average value. Select our roll up driver bone. And I want the up down axis to be controlled on the Z axis, so choose Z location, world space. Same with the wind. Wind driver, bone. And this time I want Y axis, so Y location. And so now this bone controls the up and down. This one controls the wind. Uh, we just need to animate these now. Go to the dope sheet, action editor. I want to get rid of these, so save and reopen yep new action call it roll up click on the shield and i need to key the location of this bone go to the end move it up on z by one key it again Um, let's make sure you're on link. Then move on to the wind. Click on the shield and key the location. Go to the end frame. Move it forward by one in Y axis. Key it. All done. On link. Save, select everything and export armature and mesh, custom properties, uh, untick, apply modifiers and export. Let's bring it into Unity. So we've got a couple of um animations that don't work so just match up roll up driver roll up keep that one get rid of this one get rid of this one so we got wind driver wind roll up driver roll up we can have a look down here they're both working um just click apply Bring it in, move it up, put our
material on it. Um, we need to create a controller. Call it sale. Create an idle state. Create a roll up. Choose the roll up animation. Duplicate it. Call this one. Hold down, set speed to negative one. Transition, transition. This one's going to be full wind. Wind animation, transition, uh, duplicate. This one's going to be no. Wind, speed, negative one, transition, transition. Uh, we need a couple of parameters, triggers, um, roller and wind. So this transition is going to be using the roller trigger. Same with this one. This one's going to be using wind. Same with this one. Should be a simple animator done. So I created this simple script. So the R key rolls it up and down. F key puts wind and takes out wind, I guess. Um, so I need to put the script on. Animator. Choose the controller. Okay, so R gets rolled up. R again. Goes back down. F fills with wind. F again comes back. So that should be it. Um, we've got two animations and one FPX.